Hi there. This is Kathy. Your joyous host for the next three to six minutes, if I could get it all in in that short of time. It's about your power of presence. When you walk into a room, do you make your presence known? Do your heads turn? Or are you one of these shrieking little violets? I speak on international cruise ships. And uh, the um, captain always has party night. You know, we get all dressed up. And women are in the salon getting their hair done, uh, their nails done, pedicures, their outfits. And I watch all of this. And so it comes to the time for the party. And oh, the captain is really a hunk in his tuxedo. And you see all the guys walking in. It's like, okay, I got in this tuxedo. He stands there looks around and says, I want you to appreciate me. And we get a little half pivot here and a, a little half there. And, and he is just as proud as he could be. And there's his wife, like a shrinking violet. So when I get them in seminar, I say, what are you talking about? Don't you know how powerful you are? Why did you spend all that time and money in the day salon and spa and then you come walking in like a shrinking violet. I got myself on Oprah. Are you afraid of aging? And I coined two phrases. Oh, I have a little itch, excuse me. I coined two phrases. Never, ever waste an entrance or an exit. And never apologize for what you're wearing. Do you want to know why? People don't really care. They're more concerned about, well, how do you think, I wonder what she thinks about how I look. But let me take you, let me just give you a little overview of secret number nine because I have a passion about this. You'll have to excuse me, I need to wear my glasses for this. According to Webster, the definition of self-esteem is a belief in oneself. Do you believe in you? Everything we say, think, or do reflects the quality of our inner thought, whether they're thoughts of ourselves, relationships, careers, or conditions around. I'll tell you how important self-esteem is. It's how you feel about yourself right now, just the way you are. Yeah, I don't care if you're 400 pounds. Do you feel good about yourself? That's important. Self-esteem is the relationship with yourself. What's the quality of your self-talk? Do you tell yourself how wonderful you are, or do you downgrade yourself? Did you know, and th this was really an eye-opener for me when I was doing my research, our self-esteem determines the career we choose, our mate, income we earn, the lifestyles, friends we have, and the treatment we receive from others. Do you know that you teach people how to treat you? Is that what you want to go on in your life? You stop and think right now. You teach people how to treat you. So self-esteem right now is, number one, hey, I don't care that I'm a tubby tuba. I feel good about me. I don't care if I'm anorexic. I feel good about me. Now self-image is how you see yourself. Or do you live by comparisons in the outer world? You'll never be happy. No matter how much money you earn, no matter how great your job is, someone has a better one. When you live by self-image, it often results in pain and disappointment. A medica is so wedded to money. Money is just a form, a method of, of exchange. What about gratitude? What about being in joy? What about being happy? You got up this morning, didn't you? What is your gift that you're giving to the world? Oh, I see. You've suppressed it. Aha! Because your mother, your father, oh, I know God said, no, you don't deserve it. You've got to do that. It's all blame. And don't you know that there is no blame? 
Now, self-concept is like bringing it all together. It's conceptualizing you. When you look in the mirror, do you like what you see in your mind's eye? I want to ask you, whose drummer are you dancing to? Until we meet again, enjoy the merry-go-round of your life. This is Kathy. Au revoir.